Hey guys, thank you for tuning in today. So if you haven't watched my previous video on the installation of SQL Server and our first database that we created, go ahead to watch that video or I will add the link on this video in the bottom. Just check the in the bottom. Just check the description. You will find the link of that video in the bottom or on the cart above this video. You will find that there also. So today we are going to create a table and insert statement into this table. So I would strongly recommend that you go ahead to watch that video so you can follow along. If you are new to SQL database, don't worry, we're learning together. So you watch that video and come back and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and turn the notification on. So whenever I upload video, you can go ahead to watch this video and follow along. I will see you. So guys, let me turn my camera off and share my screen so we can continue this tutorial for today. We're gonna use the new query and start to create this table by um, create table add the table name we're going to create employee table employee ID and first name by chart fifty. Last name of our chat. Fifty. Age. Integer. Gender. Our chat. Let's run the table and um, see. So we have successfully created a table or employee table. We can add um, select style. So let's start from table name, which is employee demo. And let's see this table that we just created. So this is the table that we just created. Employee ID, first name, last name, age, and gender. Now we are going to create the employee salary table to insert this information. So I'm just going to repeat this same process and change the name. Create table. Employee. salary and just insert the salary employee ID is the same ID interject command enter job title bar chart Chart 50 entered and their salary, how much they make, and, and let's close this table. And we are going to create this table right here. So, this is it. This table is created now, and now we can see if you can see the information we just. So let's start from employee salary, right? And we can drag this down to 
create more space. This is it. So we already created the employee table and the salary table. Next, we are going to insert information into this table. I use into the employee table. So let's get started here. It's um, insert into employee demo. Right, and let's start. We started with a job ID. And name, I'm just gonna put any name, right? And hyper, and then hyper age, let's say 35, and male. So far, we're just going to repeat this information. So I will stop the recording and just add this, add more tables, information into this table, and then we can continue. Now let's run this uh, statement. Let's run this table again. We have successfully run this table now. We go back to our select statement from employee demo and we can view this information in the table. So if you look at the table here, this is the information we just inserted. Um, employee ID, name, first name, last name, age, gender, and this is it, the information we just inserted. IDs, first names, last names, age, and gender. So let's go back to the salary table and just import information into the salary table and see how it works out for us. Okay. Repeat the same process with the salary table. So you go back to We are going to repeat the same process to insert the salary information of these employees that we just created into the table. So let's get started here with insert into employee salary and then their values. All right, and always don't forget to Open your parentheses, add your strings, accountant. I have import all this information, so now let's run this table and see the salary. Right, and so let's start. So let's start from the table shows all the information from the table. So if you've been using the database, you know what it is. And if you're new, that's what it is. So let's see here. Execute. So this is, let's bring it back up here. This is the information from the salary table that we created. So these are the IDs of the employees, their job titles and their salary, how much to make. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this video. I really appreciate you following along with this tutorial. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to always code smarter, not harder. Baby girl, we'll see you in her next video. Bye for now.